Ever wondered why the heck pepper spray hurts? Is it because it's made out of actual red hot peppers? And can it actually cause you to go blind? Well, let's start with the basics. Pepper spray is what we call a lacrimatory agent, meaning that it stimulates the eyes to produce tears. Capsaicin is the main chemical compound, and it is inflammatory. It's also the same chemical you find in chili peppers, but of course, it has a higher concentration in pepper spray. It's been reported that some commercial grade pepper sprays surpass the heat of even one of the hottest peppers in the world, the Himalayan ghost pepper. Now, don't get them twisted. Mace, bear spray, and pepper spray are all different things. The main difference between these three products is that pepper spray is capable of immediately incapacitating an assailant, whereas mace and bear spray are classified as just an irritant. This is because mace and bear spray hold a much lower percentage of capsaicin, ranging anywhere from 0.1 to 2%, while pepper spray used by law enforcement and sometimes civilians can hold anywhere from 10 to 20% of this chemical. It's needless to say that being on the receiving end of pepper spray is never recommended. Some of the immediate effects are uncontrollable tearing, redness, swelling, stinging, and even temporary blindness. And it's even worse for those who already have eye issues. This is why protesters are advised not to wear contact lenses, just in case law enforcement or reckless civilians use pepper spray as it can put your eye health at serious risk. And if you think rubbing the affected areas will subdue the pain, then you're very wrong. It'll actually increase the intensity of the pain and should therefore be completely avoided. The best idea is to flush your eyes with saline solution or to blink vigorously in order to produce tears to flush out the irritants from your eyes. There is no conclusive evidence to suggest that pepper spray will cause permanent damage to the eye or blindness. However, repeated exposure could certainly cause permanent damage to the cornea. So how dangerous is pepper spray? According to a Forbes article, 8.7% of injuries related to chemical weapons such as pepper spray turn out to be quite severe. This is particularly true with people with asthma and other pre-existing conditions. Because pepper spray is known to be a serious potential danger, experts advise that police are properly trained when using the chemical weapon, especially when it comes to identifying and treating anyone who has a pre-existing condition. Of course, a plus of pepper spray, especially among police and law enforcement, is that it's a relatively safe option compared to other weapon alternatives. Unless a lot of pepper spray is sprayed directly into your cornea, it will not cause you to go blind. In fact, the majority of studies on pepper spray do show that it is non-toxic and should not cause long-term visual problems when used from a proper distance. As far as treatment goes, most emergency medical technicians carry special wipes and solutions that treat the symptoms of pepper spray. Some other proactive steps you can take if ever you encounter pepper spray is to blink rapidly and wash your hands and face with hand soap or baby shampoo to break down the oil. It'll be tempting to dose yourself in water or rub your eyes, but it's extremely important to not touch the affected areas. Well, now that you're an expert on pepper spray, don't forget to check out these other videos to fully equip yourself with all of the knowledge.